Hi folks and welcome to another video on the subject of so-called static pressure fans. With all the ground we've covered at this point and because it's clear that static pressure performance is not what makes a PC fan good at what it does, there's really just one other thing left to look at and that is the matter of airflow fans. Now it's actually quite easy to trace the origin of the static pressure airflow dichotomy back to a pair of product lines from none other than Corsair, who in 2012 released their SP and AF series fans. I have the SP120 here, which I featured in my first round of tests. Jay's Two Cents begins his video about PC fan types with the Corsair products, which he acknowledges were the very fans that caused all the hype in the first instance. Linus also made a tech quickie video on the same subject, and he outlines pretty much the exact same points as Jay's. And we see the emergence of a pattern which goes something like this. You can have static pressure, or you can have airflow, but you can't have both. Says who, I ask? Well, says Corsair and others. Looking at airflow again from a physics standpoint, it is true that there can be a non-linear relationship between airflow and static pressure performance based on the design of an impeller, as you see here, but it's only when you completely change the type of fan that you see a dramatic change in this ratio. I discussed this very thing in my videos on blower fans, and I have the blower fan here. If you haven't seen these videos yet, please go and check them out now. Here are two fans that I've featured in a number of previous videos, and these fans illustrate this point perfectly. They both have almost identical statistics on paper. They are the same size, they have very similar power draw and almost identical volume flow rates, 260 CFM for the Sanace, 261 for the Nidic, and they both operate at a maximum of approximately 6000 RPM. Where they differ radically is in their static pressure performance, and that is because of the design optimization of the NIDIC, which you've seen before. Notice, importantly, how none of the volume flow had to be sacrificed in order to gain a significant static pressure advantage. Loss of airflow is a marketing lie, engineered solely to make you buy a product. The bottom line here is that all axial fans are airflow fans. That's what they do, and it's a silly designation. It's like calling a wheel a rolling wheel, or a bulb an illuminating bulb. The PC fan market has become saturated with this nonsense about static pressure and airflow, which can be attributed chiefly to that seed sown by Corsair 12 years ago. And it's best ignored. Just buy what you want and try to find a trustworthy review source that actually tackles the physics of fan performance rather than the product information from the marketing script. I'm not saying that all 120mm PC fans have identical flow rates or pressure performance. We've already seen that this is not so, and there are definitely some fans that are better than others. But the differences in real-world performance scenarios are so small that it just doesn't matter as much as some people think it does. Fan selection could be seen as more relevant to builders of SFF systems, but the level of restriction presented even in such compact enclosures is still very low compared to other scenarios, and fans do not need to have special performance characteristics for that application. Any competently designed PC fan will do a decent job inside a PC case regardless of where you put it, whether it be intake, exhaust, heatsink or radiator. The more fans you have working side by side, the more airflow you will get. This, again, is basic physics. If you want better static pressure performance, putting fans in series will achieve this. Above all, don't let manufacturers tell you what you can and can't do inside your own PC case with your own money. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, please leave them below, and I'll see you in the next one.